this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason. Got something really cool today. Jason with Denworks. Really cool 280ZX. It's a 1980, and I've got Mrs. D here Hi. with us. So, this is our 300 and first. one, yeah, 300 first auction on mm -hmm. Bring a Trailer. So, super excited. Uh, a friend of mine brought this to us, and it's just a really, really cool car. If you want to check us out on our website, it's denworks.com. D E N W E R. KS. Usually I show the plate frame, but we don't have it. We also have our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. And it's Denworks underscore vintage underscore cars. And a lot of times we'll post stuff that we get and things that are upcoming. So if you want to see what we have in our inventory, Instagram's the best place. Yeah, because we get it right when we get it. Right, right when we get it. Oh, yeah. We show it. Yeah, we're always excited. And then we have a uh, podcast called No Reserve mm -hmm. Podcast. You can look that up. We talk about Live, talk about Stanley, our kids, cars, a obviously. Bit of cars, yeah. trucks, we everything. have some donkeys, a little everything. Yeah. So we have a lot of a lot of fun with that and you can hear how I beat Leslie in a drag race. <laughs> so. Yeah, no. Opposite. So right inside there, there's Leslie's rig called Buzz. You'll see that on bring a trailer. That's as a well. three hundred and second. Three hundred and second. So we're gonna do a little walk around on this. It has been repainted, uh, but it's very nice. The, the paint is really in nice condition. I'm gonna show you that real fast first because it's starting to sprinkle on me a little bit out here, but the paint is really nice, super nice and glossy. I love the headlight covers. They kind of got a smoke to them. It's a Xenon uh, spoiler up front, chin spoiler. You could uh, paint that if you wanted to color match it. Kind of looks cool, kind of looks menacing uh, in black. If you look down the side of the car, it looks really nice. Also, this is a five speed and it is numbers matching. It is a very early uh, 280ZX for 1980. Has a, a built in 779, uh, so July 1979. So super cool car in general. You can see the lights working. When I walk around, we'll show the lights in the rear uh, stuff going too. But anyways, the bumper is in really good shape. I believe it's a three owner car. A friend of mine got it, um, oh, about seven or eight months ago. It's got 99,300 and something miles on it. I had kind of a weird little glitch I'll tell you about later. Just about the odometer stopped for like two or three miles. And then it started back up after I hit the trip meter a few times, but I'll talk about it later. But just want to walk around it here in general. Stanley's thinking it's pretty cool. It's his level, obviously. If you look at the fender, it looks good. Polished Z, Z wheels. Uh, the tires are 195, 70, 14. And I can't remember the date code just off, off hand right here real fast, but um, I do have it in the auction. So they, they look like they're in good shape. This here, they put this back on. You saw this a lot in the uh, 80s, just a little trim that people would put on their cars. Underneath is really nice, but there's a little hole there, and there's one in front of the, right there. And I thought there was one in the back. Actually, it's just right there and there. I think when they painted it, the painters thought that that went to the trim. And then after they put the trim on, they realized that those holes shouldn't be there. So um, there is two little holes there. And I don't know exactly what was there. It might have been mud flaps or something, but you wouldn't do that on the front. But just want to make you aware of that. The paint is really nice. One thing I did notice, this light should go the other way. And it's funny because you would think it goes this way just because of the aerodynamics, right? So anyways, that should be flipped the other way. Obviously a five speed 
too. Who wants an automatic Z? Again, you look down the side, really nice. Looks nice underneath, we'll put it on my lift. You'll see around the wheel lips, no bubbles or anything. It's, it's just a really nice car overall. You can see the sports flat, splat, sp spats on it and very period correct. If you look down the side again, just look at the paint. You can see our little Mustang over there in the reflection. Not a lot of ripples or anything like that. Um, someone did a nice job when they painted this. So you can see the rear lights and everything look good. No cracks or anything. It's nice too because all the bright work is nice. Two little dings right there, but all the bright work, all the rubber looks in really nice condition. So look down this side again. Very, very straight. I'm going to take you around the wheel lips here. Again, very, very nice. There's one of those little holes right there across the rockers. You can see underneath the rocker, no bubbles, no rust on this car. And underneath the hood is amazing, which I'm going to show you all the uh, anodization and stuff is, is all there. This is the body molding that they put on door guard at the dealership uh, too. So windshield is nice. All the vins and everything are intact on it. It is numbers match. I can't remember if I said that. And if you guys know these cars in general, there's a little tag, which I'll show you later, but a little tag right there that usually in earlier cars, they'll tell you what the engine number is. So. I think around 1977 or something like that, they stopped putting the engine number there and only the ID number. And this one here, I got the original um, envelope that came with it new, and it shows the engine number, and the engine number is on the side of the car. So we'll just take a look at the side again. Super, super nice. So I'm gonna have Mrs. D show us the lights, blinkers, headlights. So we got markers on now, headlights, and then brights, you pull back, yep. And we got blinkers, and we got left, and we got right, and I'll take you to the back real fast. It's just a good looking, looking car. I like these. All the marker lights work on the sides. You can see the tail lights work, brakes, blinkers, we got left and we got right and I haven't checked reverse but we'll look yep and the reverse works too and you can see the license plate lights work here as well so overall my little camera got stuck there overall in, in really nice shape in general so we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff thanks for taking a look take a look at the interior real fast first I wanted to show you how nice the door shut and nice panel gap and we'll just take a look inside here real fast first glance looks really nice very clean I like the red on red just a nice interior overall a little bit of wear the center of the seats look good a couple little spots but overall look really good you'll see a little discoloration on the beading here you can see the color here but this is from the Sun I'm sure it has an overlay dash pad in it so this not it's just a cover that goes over that you can get I'm sure you guys, you guys are aware of those aftermarket wheel we have the original wheel in the back there but overall looks good in general 
you can see aftermarket Kenwood radio with USB, the heater works, it's a manual five speed, all the gauges work, it's got 99,304. And um, I think that that's the original miles, but there's a little bit of a discrepancy on it because when I was driving, it sounds like a total salesman thing to do. The odometer, when it was at 99, and there's a picture of it in the auction, because I was taking a picture for Instagram, 99,298, and then it turned to 99,300. And I was watching it, and I took a picture of the 298, I was watching it, and then all of a sudden it stalled, and it stuck while it was going in the 300. And so I was only about like two miles from home, came home, hit the trip meter a couple times, got the trip to go back to zero, and I took it out just for a mile, and it didn't, uh, it didn't move. Well, I left it over the weekend, and I was doing some other things to it, and I was gonna drive it, and I told bring a trailer, like, the odometer stopped working. Well, I hit the trip meter a couple times before we took off, and I started driving, and the odometer started working, so now it's got 99.304, and while we're doing a driving video, we'll, we'll see that it, uh, it's still working. So, it just had a little hiccup. So, um, just what happened. Good thing is I was able to document it. The door jams look good. You can see all the original spot welds. They're very clean. You can see this is cracked right there. One of the little button things is missing there, which is common. Door panel looks good. Rubber looks good. You can see they painted a little bit on the rubber there. But we'll take a look. Oh, I'm gonna have Mrs. D. There's a lever. You can use the key for a lever by the seat there. And we can lift the trunk up. You can see the struts work. Here is the original wheel that goes on it. Carpet looks good back here. A little cover that goes over the dash um, as well if you want to put that in. But the rest of this looks really nice. The jam looks good. The rubber looks good. Very clean. The rain's coming. Welcome to Oregon. You can see a little crack right there. Back of the seats look nice. And you can see right there, there's a little, on that little trim there, there's a little, uh, two little cracks there. If you look on this side, same thing. And it's lifted just a little bit. It's probably common in these cars in general. We're gonna take a look underneath here. It's not rusty. Very clean. Again, no signs of accidents. That's the other thing I'm looking at. I'm not just looking at clean interior. I'm trying to show you the jams. Nothing's been hit. No rust or anything like that. I'm gonna take a look at the passenger side real fast. It does have window tint on it, by the way. I'm gonna have Mrs. Uh, D roll that window up. Over there, I'll show you mine. Rolls up and down nicely. for you so it does roll up and down nice again the interior is in good shape a little light works there there's the usb there's a in the uh, floor mat sorry the camera's being weird in the floor mat here there is a little looks like a little burn hole and another one right there in that floor mat um i don't smell any smoke in the car or anything like that and it seems to be very clean in general, and I'm sensitive to that kind of thing. Uh, if you look up here, the dome light, it works. You can see the headliner is a little loose in a couple spots. And then you can see the map light works in it as well. So anyways, hopefully that helps you get a good kind of overview of the interior in general and i just wanted to show you the jams again around here so and you can see the spot welds there so anyways i think the uh the rain has won but we were able to get all our video done
kind of take a look underneath the hood. There's a lever. She opened the door to see it, but there's a lever inside there. If you lift this open, there's a little, little button right there. It's already running. It does start up cold start really, really, really good. It just fires right up. It has to warm up for a little bit and before it, uh, you really want to drive it. But just let it warm up a little bit and you'll hear the fast idle and then it drops um, as well. And it didn't used to do that when we first got it, but I put a new uh, switch in it right here and um, clean this out here. You can see there. So it's an air valve and thermal switch uh, there. So um, give it about five minutes, three, four, five minutes. And it is a really good running car overall. The engine compartment, super, super, super clean. That's original paint in here. When they did repaint it, you can see a little bit of overspray on some of the rubber uh, stuff. So you could probably get that clean um, off or, or put some new pieces like the hood towel. But look how nice this is in here. You can see the, the, um, shock mounts, everything, shock towers, everything looks good. Look at the anodization on the back of the headlight. Very cool. Original stickers up here. See that shock tower. Everything looks really good. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. Sounds nice. Take a look at this side real fast for you. You can't see it because uh, that hose is in the way, but maybe you can. I got some paint on my finger, but when you work on cars, right? You can see the original stamping is there that shows the, uh, the ID number. You can see the little light here works. So there's the original tag there as well. But underneath here, very, very, very clean and it looks really good. If you look up underneath here, the catalyst sticker is still there. Original paint underneath the hood. So overall, just a just a really clean car. You know, everything's not perfect, but it is a really nice car. And actually, if you look right down there, you see that white down on the block? It's actually uh, chalk marks from when it was original right down there by the dipstick. So I'll go ahead and rev it up one more time. I'll take you back here. You can hear the exhaust and it doesn't blow smoke. Go ahead and go. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. You like revving the engine, I think. You know I do. That's so <laughs> 